Welcome to another in my series on my Dutch tool chest. Uh, in this video, I'll be finishing up the exterior of the chest, installing some hardware, and putting on some paint. Let's get started. Okay, so next up, I'm going to be mounting the uh, hasp on the chest. So it's basically the thing that we can put the, a padlock on. So this is going to be part, the part here. I've already kind of laid out where it should go. And then here's the, I guess is this the hasp? I don't know. But anyway, this is the part that goes on the, the other loop so that the padlock can come down. So this needs to go up on the trunk lid. So I've already kind of laid out where that needs to go. And basically I need to cut a recess or a mortise um, to fit this profile right there. All right, so I finally got it dialed in, and uh, so here's the um, hasp installed. So um, now we're ready to put the uh, lid back on and then put the other part of the hasp on, which should be quite a bit easier, I think. Let's put some paint on this thing. So uh, first off, I need to tape off all the areas that I don't want to get painted, um, which is mainly the interior of the tool chest. So first up, I went traditional and put on two coats of green milk paint. Uh, one coat, you could see the wood pretty plainly through the paint, so I put on another coat because I wanted this to be pretty opaque. And the result is what you see here, which is this uh, chalky finish, which is always happens with milk paint that's intended. Now I didn't want the end result to be that chalky look, um, so the next thing I did was put a coat of boiled linseed oil over top of the milk paint. So this looked a lot better, uh, but I still had a problem. I let that dry for a while, probably a week, and it looked a little splotchy, and I'm no expert with milk paint. So I don't know if this was just a result of the wood having too much resin in it, or maybe I didn't apply the milk paint finish quite right, maybe not evenly enough, but it looked splotchy and I wasn't real happy with it. So uh, the next thing I did was I tried out some uh, paste wax, and that seemed to do the trick. It kind of gave it that nice kind of satiny sheen that paste wax gives and it evened out um, the sheen so it didn't look glossy in some areas and dull in others and so that that I think it turned out pretty nice with the paste wax on it. So this is my uh, final finish with my chest. I'm pretty happy with it. Thanks for watching.